Hello there, my name is Shaq. In today's video, I'm going to explain to you how you can move a car from a parked position, drive along the road, and then stop on the left safely again. Now, to move a car, we need to do three, three basic things. Prepare, observe, and move. This is called POM, P-O-M, prepare, observe, move. So let's start off by talking about the preparation. Now, before you can even start the engine, we need to make sure that there's two safety checks are carried out. Firstly, the handbrake is on. Secondly, the gear lever is in neutral. Once you've done that, you are then ready to start the engine. We start the engine by turning the key in the clockwise direction until the engine comes on. Once the engine comes on, we release the key. That's the engine on, so I've let go of the key. I'm just going to turn off the engine now for the time being. So that's the engine running. We then put the clutch down with your left foot fully and completely down and keep it down. With the clutch down, you would get your palm away from you and push the gear lever away from you and push it up into first gear. With the car in first gear, you would set the gas with your right foot, the accelerator. You would press that about thickness of a pound coin, just very, very little, no more than that. With the accelerator pressed, you then come off the clutch about halfway to something called the biting point. The biting point is when the engine makes contact with the wheels. You will know that you've achieved the biting point through various ways. One, the bonnet of the car will raise up slightly. Two, your interior mirror here will dip down slightly. Three, you will hear a sound in the engine, a, sound, a change in the sound of the engine. So that is the car all prepared to move off. Now, before moving off, we need to carry out our observations. We, call, we carry out something called a six point check, basically because of six different places that we have to look. The first place we look is through the back left window. We're looking to see if there's any pedestrians or any other hazards there. We would then look in the passenger side mirror, looking for maybe somebody cycling along the pavement, some child, little child cycling along the pavement. Those are the two checks. We then look in front, look through the windscreen to make sure that there's no traffic because you don't want to pull out in front of an oncoming vehicle. We check our interior mirror so we know if there's any traffic behind us. We then check the driver's mirror. That gives a wider view of what's coming behind us. We then check something called our blind spot. That's very important because the mirrors do not cover the blind spots. We check our blind spot by looking over your shoulder. So you've done your preparation and you've done your observations. We then decide whether a signal is necessary. If it's going to benefit any other road user, not just drivers, including pedestrians, we must give the signal. Once you've given the signal, we'll then release the handbrake. Once the handbrake is released, we would steer. Now, if you pretend the steering wheel is the face of a clock, we would steer only about five minutes towards the right, so the car would start moving off in that angle towards the right. Once the car's moves off in the right, we would then turn about 10 minutes towards the left to straighten up the car. Once the car is straight, we would then turn five minutes towards the right, so the wheels are straight. With the car straight, 
the wheel straight, we drive along the road. So that's the moving off. Then comes the stopping. When stopping, it's most important that you stop somewhere that is safe, legal and convenient. Having decided a safe place to stop, the first thing you want to do is check the mirrors. We'll check the interior mirror first and then the left exterior mirror. We always check the interior mirror first as it gives us a true image. The exterior mirror will give us a wider view. Having checked mirrors, we will then decide if a signal is necessary. If you feel that the signal is going to benefit any other road user, including pedestrians, then you must give a signal. Once you've indicated, we will turn the wheel about five minutes towards the left. Once you've turned it, you wait for your reference point. In my case, the end of the wiper blade. Once that touches the curb, I will then turn the wheel about 10 minutes towards the right to straighten up the car. With the car straight, I will turn the wheel 5 minutes back again to the left to straighten the wheel. With my car straight, with the wheel straight, I come off the gas and touch the brake lightly and then put the clutch fully and completely down. Without moving my feet, apply the handbrake and the gear lever is in neutral. Well that is the moving off and stopping. So what I'm going to do now I'm going to show you that in practice. So I've got my seatbelt on, I've carried out the DSSSM routine, handbrake is on, gear lever is in neutral, I've started the engine. Put the clutch down, palm away from me into first gear. I'm going to get the biting point, so I've set the gas, clutch up about halfway, I can feel the biting point. I'm now going to carry out my observations. It's all clear, so I'm going to release the handbrake and I'm moving off. Stayed five minutes towards the right, ten towards the left and five towards the right. I am fully off the clutch. I am now going to pull up on the left. So I've checked my mirror. Signal left. Five minutes towards the right. To, sorry, five minutes towards the left. Ten minutes towards the right. And five again. My car's all level. Touch the brakes. Clutch pedal fully down. Gently carry on braking. My car stopped put the handbrake on and gear lever is in neutral. I've switched off the indicator and switched off the engine. I hope you found this video beneficial. If so, please give it a thumbs up as it helps us to make more videos. And watch out our, for our next video in this playlist which will be on turning right and left from a major road into a minor road. Thank you for watching.